is the man accused of being the mastermind of the 2002 Bali nightclub bombing and 2003 attacks on the JW Marriott and Ritz Carlton Hotels in Jakarta will finally be standing trial this year. Ridwan Isamuddin, also known as Hambali, will face a formal hearing in front of the U.S. Military Commission in Guantanamo Bay on August 30th. Th uh, two others who will stand trial with him are Nazir Lep, known as Lili, and Farik Amin, known as Zubair. All three were captured in Thailand in 2003. It's been about 20 years now since the horrific terror attacks. Professor of Security Studies at the Nanyang Technological University, Dr. Rohan Gunaratna, joins me now to share more. Welcome to the show, Doctor. With this latest development, what can you tell about Hambali's significance in terms of terrorism in this region? Hambali staged the worst terrorist attack in Southeast Asia. It is also one of the top three terrorist attacks in the world. Hambali is the most dangerous terrorist this region produced. And there's one other terrorist called Yasid Sufat. So I want to say that Hambali's trial is going to attract a lot of attention, especially because he was the mastermind, the facilitator and the driver of the Bali attack in 2000. Two, and also Hambali planned several other attacks, including hijacking a plane and crashing it to various targets in the United States. And I want to say that bringing Hambali to justice is paramount and it is so important for him to remain in custody forever. Dr. Rohan, on the war against terrorism in our region, which groups or individuals uh, now pose the greatest threat? The single biggest threat emanates from a group called the Islamic State. The Americans call it ISIS or ISIL. Other than that, there is a group called Al-Qaeda and Al-Qaeda is in a resurgent phase. Hambali worked both with Al-Qaeda and with Jama Islamia, its local counterpart that has now evolved into another entity. But what is significant is the threat from Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State persists. There are new other entities that have emerged, including right-wing ideologies. So we need to have a very comprehensive response when it comes to fighting terrorism.